All right, friends. Now, in this video, we'll discuss all about the concept of WordPress installation, which we have to use as a backend to provide APIs of WooCommerce. So, to install WordPress, simply let's go back to browser, and here I am on the official website of WordPress that is called WordPress.org. Simply, if we go here, click on this Get WordPress button. Now, it will open the download page, and if I scroll. Now you can see that here we have a download button which has the current version that is of 6.7.1. So before making this video without having any delay, already we have downloaded as we can see that WordPress 6.7.1. So after download, what basically we have to do? Let's go back to folder. So here I have that zip file. Simply I will go and unzip, so extract all. And I will call it as this folder name as WordPress only. Click on this extract button. And successfully, the process of extraction now completed. And here we can see a new folder called WordPress. If I go inside it, again we have a WordPress folder. Let's do so large icons. Now inside this WordPress, we can see that here we have three major folders, which is the most important folder of any WordPress application that is WP Admin, WP Content, WP Hyphen Includes, and here we have all those important files. So what I will do simply, I will go here. Let's copy all these files and folders. Simply, I will cut by pressing Ctrl X. Let's go one folder back. And I will simply paste here. Let's create a new folder. And I will call it as WP hyphen app. Now inside this folder, let's go and paste all those folders and files. Click here, large icons. Now successfully here we have two setup that is of React application. And here we have our WordPress application. Now let's delete this folder. Now to execute this setup into browser because as we know that this is PHP CMS, like WordPress is a PHP CMS, so to execute application, PHP server must be started. So here I'm using XAMPP server. So we can see that XAMPP server behind the scene I have started. So Apache is running at this port and MySQL is also running at this port. Now, next after this, let's go back to browser. So as we know that Apache is running, so here I will type localhost let's go back to folder structure so we are inside this stdocs and stdocs is the main important folder of xamp server every application every project will run from this stdocs folder so we are inside this stdocs and here we inside this headless hyphen store so after typing localhost into browser just type headless hyphen store and if i hit enter and now you can see that inside this folder, what we have created inside stdocs, here we have React application, a zipped file of WordPress, and here we have the WordPress application as the loopy hyphen app. Let's click onto this link. And now we can see that here we have the setup configuration settings of WordPress application. So here we have to choose our language. So by default, this is coming. Let's click on continue button. And here it is asking that for the next step, we want a database should be configured into our local system. So database name, choose the name, password and host must be required to go with the next step. So let's click on this let's go button. Now we can see that it is asking for database name, choose the name, password. So what I will do, simply I will go into this PHPMI admin because from this sam server mysql is also running so i will go into this phpmy admin click on this databases and here i will simply call headless underscore store let's copy or simply let's pass wp underscore headless store i will copy the database name click on create button database created let's go here inside this installation part database name in my case the username is root and password is blank so after passing all these values click on submit button and now we can see that now here we have one more step that is asking run the installation so simply click on this button it will start the installation process of wordpress click here and now here we have one more additional page which is asking some basic information of wordpress setup that is site title the username of admin 
password of admin and the email value of WordPress application setup. So here inside site title, let's call it as WP Headless Store App. Now inside username, I will pass admin admin now these are the informations like username and password is the login credentials of wordpress admin panel now here click on this confirm password because we are using a weak password for this email value let's pass some like dumb email value for the time being because this setup is at the local host click on this button install wordpress now after taking all these informations now we can see that wordpress now installed into our local system Remember, into our local system, we have only created only a database where we don't have any tables. But once the process like completed, so if we go click on this structure, and now we can see that dynamically WordPress has created like lots of tables, 12 number of tables dynamically inside this database. Let's go here, click on this login button. And here we have a login page. This is the login page of admin panel. So remember, we have passed the admin as the username and admin as the password. Click on this login button. And successfully, here we are logged in inside the admin panel of this WordPress application. Now here, if we want to go to the front end page of this application, simply if I hover over this website title, click control pressing widget site. Now we can see that this is our front end and this is our back end. So inside next video, what I will do, I will install a plugin of WordPress that is called WooCommerce. So once we install WooCommerce into this setup, it will provide much more settings so that we can easily create a WooCommerce store for this WordPress application. And let me give you some basic overview of this WordPress. So here we can see that inside this WordPress admin dashboard, here we have multiple menus like post, media, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings. Now, by going through this settings menu, we can do some basic settings of this WordPress application. Once we go into this post menu, so by going through this menu, we can go and create some post of our WordPress application. Now, if we want to install our WooCommerce plugin into the next video, so for that topic, we have to go into this plugins menu, here we have button called add new plugin, we go on this button. Now here we can see by default it is giving some plugins, but we want WooCommerce. So simply we have to search WooCommerce keyword into this search plugin. And once we type that keyword automatically, it will search that plugin into WordPress repository. And according to filter, it will provide the WooCommerce plugin and also the install now button. So this is the process for the next video. So in the next video, we will do our WooCommerce setup and installation into this WordPress application. So for this interesting course, please hit the like button to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Now let's meet to our next amazing video. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.